Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm just going to show you how to make this sort of stylized sky look uh, with these clouds as well. Um, this is all procedural as well, so there's no geometry or anything there. It doesn't look as good as some of the really really good cloud uh, ones I've seen, but this is just it's just sort of easier. You can drag me in and make this a template, drag them into your, to your projects and, and sort of change them up a little bit. Um, so yeah. I will remove this guy first. Um, so what I'm doing in the um, in the shader editor, I'm just coming over to World uh, and just going to press New here. So first thing I'm going to do is going to add in the the sort of the gradient. Um, so what I'm going to do is do Shift A and add in a gradient texture. Uh, make sure you've got Node Wrangler on. Um, it's, it's part of Blender. Just edit preferences, um, search, node, wrangler, and just uh, just tick it. Um, then you can press Control T um, to add in our mapping and texture coordinates. And then I'm going to add in a color ramp. Plug that in here. And um, plug that into the color. Now you see it's like the wrong way around. We want it to go up um, from top to bottom, basically. So you can separate out the x, y, and z coordinates, but you can also just rotate it by 90 degrees, and that uh, and that does it. And there you go. That's the start of a basic gradient. Now, what you need to be careful with when you're when you're using shaders like this for the world, basically this these colors they will affect the the color of like the shadows and the the color of on your um, materials. I know that might sound obvious to some people, but when I was starting out you know when you just plug in a HDRI or something if you're using that you don't really often know what it's doing so um, I found like the, the lower end here will affect your shadows and then the higher end here is sort of your highlights as well so you need to really go and look at some references and, and find some colors or whatever but uh, I always you know this is stylized this isn't for like a real realistic environment so I quite like going through um, sort of yellow sort of then to pink and then to blue it kind of that sort of it's either like dawn or sunset um, and, it, and it does look quite nice especially for like a snowy scene like this uh, let's just brighten that up a little bit give it a bit more color something like that that looks quite nice and snowy I think um, so you see can you just sort of see just bring this down like my shadows are gonna be you know this is gonna you see them changing so this will affect the coloring of your scene so bear that in mind you know once you've you're gonna you know put the um, your shaders on to any of your objects in the scene bear in mind this will change the color of it it's the same with you know using a HDRI but they're o often you know uh, realistic where this is going to be more stylized so let's get that back something like that um, so you know that can that can do really just as a start if you just want to try these out um, you know th this gives you a really nice sort of gradient just to mess around with but there's loads more you can do um, something that I really like doing um, is if we get a noise texture pop him in there and then add in a uh, mix RGB, plug him in there. And then we take the generated, plug that in the second part. That's going to be way too much. You barely need like a fraction of this. But it just you see, it just sort of blends things in a little bit, and you can mess with the scale here. It's it's very little, but it just it just breaks up that line. It just you know little variations like that. I think really important. Um, and the what we can do then is we can add in um, the clouds. So you can see here we've got these sort of clouds in here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I am going to kind of cheat and copy these in because if I'm honest, this I was just messing around and this happened. So I'm going to I'm going to copy it in and then we'll go through it basically. And um, so I'm just going to right click and copy those. Um, come down to our new world and paste these in. Basically, what this is doing is—I know this looks like a lot of nodes, but really, we're doing two things twice. 
So what we're doing is we're having another gradient, which is going to sort of be the bottom and the top of one set of clouds. Uh, and then we're going to have another one and they're going to be just sort of slightly below. So when you, you, you sort of, um, when you get a particular sky like this it, in real life, like a, a sunrise or something, you know, you get the really sort of either like red bits at the bottom or they're darker at the bottom or like lighter at the top. So this is just kind of like a sort of a cheap sort of way of, of getting that effect um, without using any geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this in here. So this is our um, just our original sky and then these are the next set of clouds. So what I need to do is oh, I'm sorry this is probably not the best way of doing it but I'm, I, th I think this will be the quickest way of doing it. So if we uh, basically we mix our gradient background with this here which is our first set of clouds and then what we'll do is we'll mix that with the next set of clouds so you can see we've got our two so that's one set of clouds and our world mixed with the next set of clouds and then we'll just plug that in here just so we can see what it looks like the colors will probably be all wrong and we'll, we'll go and go through that when we go through actually how this is this is done okay actually it's all right straight away um so down here this is our gradient so if i just preview this but uh, that's no drangler if you shift um control click you can see it's just basically we've made what we made before all I've done here is this is just how I used to set up I was sort of talking about earlier when you can separate it so if I just plug get rid of that and rotate that 90 now you can see it's doing the same thing but without with one less node so I think that's the it's a, it's a better way of doing it but equally separate in x y and z and just plug in the z z is up um, in Blender. So this is our first set of clouds and what I'm doing is I'm actually mixing what's going to be our first set of clouds with our background gradient by a factor of this. So how I made this was um, I've got a noise texture um, just with the 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 same sort of trick I was using down here with the the mix and the noise, but this time I'm using a Voronoi instead. So I'm just going to leave this on screen because I know when you're watching these videos, sometimes you're just like, "Shut up, just show me the, the stuff." So I'm <laughs> I'll do that for you now. Basically, this is the little the setup I'm using to create this pattern with the with the color ramp. Um, plugged in here. Sorry if, it, if this is a bit much, if you're kind of new to Blender, it might be jumping off the deep end a little bit, but let me know in the comments or whatever, and that'd be good. Um, so if I go back to this, this is our um, this is our first set of clouds. So that, that was the pattern I made. This is the color for the pattern, and then I'm mixing it with our background. Um, so you can see this is the factor these are the two uh, the things that we're mixing together so you can see that the sort of clouds there but they look they're super flat they do, you know it it looks more like sort of mist in the distance or something like that which again you know this could be fine this might be all you need um, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the, the basically the the first set of clouds with another one which is just a repeat so that is the one above is just this copied up and pasted to start off with um, and you can see if I preview this oh yeah that's the, that's the final result so you see just having having the darker colors of just underneath just gives it a little bit of depth and all you need to do is once you've copied and, and pasted your first set of clouds um, above it what you do is go in and tweak these so what what I like to do is this mapping node basically if you can see this is it shows where it is or where the, the um, basically where the textures mapped to the world so we can move these rotate these and that sort of thing so what th the aim of copying them above is, is is just to offset them slightly so if I'm having a darker color 
so like the shadows in my clouds here um, I just want to brew uh, just bring this down a little bit so just offset it so you see if that's basically where it you see they're the same sort of shape the pink going into the blue but if I just offset them just slightly just something like that you see you just sort of start getting shadows underneath um, and then all you do once you've got that there is just mix your first set of clouds and your backdrop with your second set of clouds and then and just plug it in uh, into the uh, into the out thing here which you probably would have already done anyway um, so hopefully that's clear enough I will what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly go over the nodes just so if you want to like screenshot anything or whatever because I know that that's always what I want to see here you go and they're all just mixed together uh, it, the, this is really just about messing around just I couldn't tell you that I specifically went right I need to go and move these on the scale or I need to rotate these you know it just a bit of experimentation basically um, and yeah that's it sorry that, that was probably a bit convoluted and long-winded but hopefully you got the gist of it any feedback or whatever is uh, is welcome so thanks a lot guys cheers bye